Hey everyone. I wanted to make a video about video recording devices, ways of streaming, the ways that I stream, the equipment that I use, and what I think about it all. Uh, I know a lot of you have been interested in the Google Glass or my own design contraption, the live streamer. Uh, I'm going to go over all the different devices for streaming. I've spent a long time researching these and trying a lot of different things to accomplish a lot of different goals that are pretty high tech. I think uh, I couldn't find it anywhere online. I found nowhere to help me out. Nobody seemed to be able to find a way to stream live video with no lag, no delay. Interactive. Not just live, but interactive to where the audience can interact with the video with no lag. So. Without further ado, let's go over the equipment. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff here. Uh, these are the things that I use to record video for many different purposes. Okay, so I'll go over them individually. Uh, as you guys can see, we have a couple Google Glasses here. Uh, this one's with the shade. The shades are removable. Uh, but so Google Glass is very convenient. It's the easiest way to record and it gives a pretty good view of hands on. Uh, the Google Glass records a pretty good video, but not quite as good as, as say, a real webcam or, or I'm sorry, a, a camcorder here, which, which we have. Uh, and I believe the iPhone actually records a little better video than these. But they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, the Google Glass can, at the click of a, of a button, just wearing it, you can just simply tap here or swipe and you can upload your videos straight to your YouTube account, your Google Plus account, your Facebook, Twitter, things like that. And so that makes Google Glass really convenient. You can just record, uh, upload, done. Right to your So the, down, the shortcomings to Glass is you cannot do the live video as I had hoped. Um, there is a lot of like add-ons, for instance, for Google Glass. You can, do, you can download software, for instance, the live streamer. Uh, you can pay the live stream account three to nine hundred dollars a month, depending on what kind of a live streaming account you want. But you know that would have worked for what I wanted to do, which was a live stream and an attic and have people interact working on air conditioners. But the downfall was that it has a ten-second delay, and so that's not live. When I say live, I meant live, and so Google Glass has never been able to pull that off. For the high price tag I spent on this because I wanted to be the first to figure out how to live stream from addicts, it didn't work. Uh, so I still use Glass a lot to record video, and then I bring it back, I download the video into my computer, I edit it, upload to YouTube, Google+, wherever. And so I like that because I get a first-hand view and both my hands are free, and it's very comfortable. So, but when I can, I, you know, this, is a, this camcorder is actually a nice way to do it. Same way, you can just record, pull the microchip, put it in the laptop, and upload. But both of those are pretty similar. They're just recording devices that I use. And the reason I don't upload straight to YouTube and Google Plus is because I want to edit a little bit. And so, as fancy as it is, I don't really need the options that it can do. It cannot... Google Plus Hangout um, because they just been having trouble with that on these even though it was originally supposed to be able to do a Hangout which is essentially a live video stream interactive but problem with that is you cannot do it from a business page on a mobile device you cannot host a Hangout from a business and so your business cannot get business credit for having all the tra traffic and activity from a Hangout because you can't do it from a business page. So, 
Battery life, not very long. And when you use external chargers, it seems to get too warm for me. Uh, it's not that it doesn't work, it's just that it really gets warm and it scares me. Because at a $17 price tag, I don't like it getting that hot. So then you have your iPhone. Everybody knows about those. But now we're going to move on to the big kahuna. This, my friends, is my pride and joy. Because it's the first thing that broke all the rules. Uh, what it is, guys, as you can see, is a uh, coast headlamp but it's the brightest one in existence this thing is the highest lumens I was able to find for a headlamp it has the size because if we're gonna do live video we need a bright light if we're gonna do it in the attic so you guys can see everything and what I did here is I found a webcam a Logitech webcam and I broke it broke the fittings off and I took a drill and some screws and I mounted it to my coast headlamp so I got a little play up and down now it's pretty tight too and the reason I've done this is because it's the only way to get live video this is how you do it if you want to upload live video to the web and have an interactive thing you've got to use a webcam and that's why guys you're able to do it everybody can hang out from this camera uh, and you can do a live hangout or you can do it from your phone sometimes but uh, that it's not really oh but you can't do it from a business page and so what I've got here now the reason why this is so much better is because this has no lag and no delay the reason it has no lag and no delay is because this webcam records a different type of video than the Google Glass, the phone, uh, the iPad, the GoPro camera. Any of those devices record one type of video. And when you try to stream to the web, the web has to transition it to display it. And that is where the 10 second lag comes in. Uh, there's also things like a live streamer and Ustream, Ustreamer. All those things also generate 10 second lags because of the video transitioning. Uh, unless you're using a webcam. But now, you can't take a laptop with you to the attic or walking around town. So, this thing already records the right type of video for the web. Now the challenge now is to get this to upload to the web without having to be tethered to your device. And so what I've done here is I'll take my webcam here and I bought a fitting to transition it into a micro USB. Now micro USB can't plug into your iPad but not only that your iPad's a mobile device so it doesn't have the right software and so uh, Google Plus will not let you hang out from this on a business page. There's a filter that will not allow it. So you can do a Google Plus Hangout from a personal page on a mobile device like an iPad, iPhone, but you cannot hang out from a business on your mobile device. Go ahead and try guys. Log into your Google Plus, anything, and try to do a Hangout on Air while logged in as your business page and that way you can receive the credit. You can't do it. You can only do it from a desktop. And So what we had to do now is I had to get a smaller laptop. That's what this is. This is a laptop. It's a... Uh, let's turn it on. Come on. Did my battery die? No way. Ah, there we go. So this is a PC. It is Windows based and has plugs. So this is Windows 7. Therefore, 
I can do a Google Plus Hangout for my business on it and be pretty mobile. I can put this in my pocket and I can, excuse me, I plug it in, go online, go to Google Plus, do a mobile hangout on air from my laptop, PC, this fits in the pocket, and record live. Now you guys can all log in, watch live as we work. And so, like I said, depends on your use. If you want to record a video, go home and edit it and upload it to the internet later, then the Google Glass is my device of choice. If I want a higher quality video, but not as hands-on, then I'll move to a camcorder because nothing's going to beat the quality. But I'll come and edit it later on the laptop, upload from there. However, if I want a live experience for a homeowner to watch me work, or you guys to be able to log in and watch live, maybe I have a question and I need some help. You guys could all log in and we could all fix on it, fix it together. Uh, I'm also looking forward to doing a competition where we'll all log in and do a repair and see who can call out the proper diagnosis the fastest. We could have a point system and uh, give out awards. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's kind of what I'm trying to put together with this thing. Uh, there it is.